Hey guys, it's Anjali and I'm back at it again with another video. She's a bad thing. Funny as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my god. Today I decided to show you guys how to beat your face to the guys because why not? Like why not? And this is a back to school look, you know, because when you go in on the first day of school, you want to slay. You want people to look at you like, yes. How do you do that? How do you flick the brow to perfection? Be your face to the gods. Let's get started. Now the first thing I do when I do my eye look is I always do my brows first. So I'm gonna take this here spoolie and I'm gonna brush my eyes into their natural shape because like when I sleep, like these brows get out of control. Nice. And now that they're all brushed, I'm gonna take this here angled brush and I'm going to put it in this here dark brown. Now, what I used to do wrong when I used to do my brows is I used to use a black and it made my brows look like, I, like, like fake. I mean, obviously, what I'm doing now is not going to be how it naturally is, but I don't want it to look too drawn on. Just make sure that you follow your natural brow shape. Yeah. Take my spoolie again and I'm just going to blend it out to make it more natural. And for me, doing my brows is probably like my favorite thing. to the gods and now I do my eye look which is uh, I I'm gonna take a flat brush like this Let's use that dust that just came out of it I use this a lot and use this flat brush and I'm gonna put it in this brown right here this light brown which I've been using mm, 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 so much it's almost gone Don't know if you can see the difference between the two eyes. Just pack it on a little more. Skin's darker than this brown, and I'm using a light brown, so you have to put a little bit more on to make it show. Under, I don't know how to call it, under my under eye, my waterline, put it down there too. Okay, just a little more. It's hard to beat your face, you know? There, I got the eyes done. I the difference between them, but... And I'm gonna do the other one. So then your eyes will just look like this, with this nice light brown base. I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna call it like a nutmeg. This color like a nutmeg, so you're gonna start with a color that kind of looks like that. And this is just how it looks. I don't know if you just saw all that, but a whole bunch of, of eyeshadow just came out of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this blending brush here and I'm gonna take this brown, not the one that I use for my eyebrows, but this one right here, which is kind of a lighter one. And I'm just gonna put it on my, um, don't know what to call it. Don't know how to make up absolutely, but when I do my makeup, it looks nice. So put it on, how to, the outer, the outer, what, what is this called? The just, just right here, just put it right there. Yeah, right there. And then just blend it inwards. I don't actually know the scientific terms for stuff. I'm just like going on as I go on. So like the next one. Do 
is I'm gonna do an eyeliner, but I always do wing. Cause to me, a wing just more, I don't know, more sexy, more, I'm not trying to say I'm sexy, like we all know I'm not. More sexy, more sophisticated, more than just like any other. What other eyeliner look is there than a wing? Like seriously. But like, since the eye look is very, very, you know, already like, bow, boom, in your face. You don't have to do it all out like I'm gonna do, but I do like my wing to, I like my wing to stretch. So, I'm just gonna take this, this one. Eyeliner, they never look the same like this one looks good and this one looks good but they don't go together like I, unless somebody's like all up in your face they won't know so first I gotta let this dry before I open my eye and it messes it all up let me check see if it's messed up it's not so let me let me okay. now this one's dry I'm gonna attempt to do the other one without messing up of them and they're just done. I don't know if they look like the same. Let me check. I guess they look good. Okay, and then I'm just going to use this eyelash curler to get the, um, what's it, the excess eyeliner stuff, liquid, off my eyelashes because every time I do it, I get it on there. If they open up my eye, it gets on my eyeshadow. Okay, and then here's the finished look. But wait, we can't just walk in like any other person. Like their face may be looking good, but we have to beat our face for school. So then I always do an inner corner, which is like my signature thing. I always put like a little bit something there. Just make my eyes pop, makes them look more open. So I'm gonna take this gold color and it's cream eyeshadow. And I, can you see? Do you just look at my knee? And we're gonna put it right there on our inner corner. this look then you should definitely give this video a thumbs up because I like this look with the gold in the corner can we say B ah. and uh, that's all for this video and uh, I'll see you guys next time stay groovy ah. Oof.